Well, nearly 4 million people in the UK have received at least one COVID-19 vaccination. And Britain is accelerating its efforts with 10 new mass vaccination centres opening today. Now, the government says its aim is to ensure all seniors, vulnerable people and frontline health care workers are offered a vaccine by mid-February. And we are going to be speaking to a reporter. Actually, we're going to welcome her right now in London to talk about this, Tessa Arcilia. She joins us right now in the London Bureau. Uh, Tessa, nice to see you. Uh, tell us a bit more about the British government's plan here. Well, Michael, that uh, expanded rollout of the mass vaccination uh, program is well underway. It's all about speed here. Now, starting today, uh, people aged 70 and over, as well as people who are classified as clinically extremely vulnerable, have been offered that first dose of the vaccine. So this will add some five and a half million people, in addition to the four million uh, that you mentioned had already received that first dose. So the target is 15 million by mid-February and all adults in the UK by September. Now, that is an ambitious plan, and it is hoped that the 10 new vaccination centres that they had started today would be key to that progress. Prime Minister Boris Johnson was in one of those vaccination centres today. He said he's quite happy and encouraged with the pace that this is all going. Now, that pace is at a rate of 140 jabs a minute here in England. Now, that is on the good news side of all of this, but the head of the health service, the NHS, has cautioned that, let us not forget, there is still extreme strain and pressure on the NHS. This is the most precarious position it's been in, in its 72-year history. Let's take a listen to what he had to say. Since Christmas Day, we've seen another 15,000 increase in the inpatients in hospitals across England. That's the equivalent of filling 30 hospitals full of coronavirus patients. And staggeringly, every 30 seconds across England, another patient is being admitted to hospital with coronavirus. So that's one person every 30 seconds. That is a pretty grim picture for hospitalizations. It could get worse before it gets better. But this mass vaccination rollout is giving hope to people. The vaccines minister said that if all four of the priority groups are vaccinated by February, we could see a gradual easing of those restrictions by March. Now, the very possibility of that is music to a lot of people's ears, Michael. Okay, Tessa, welcome to the program. And thank you for that. The CBC's Tessa Arcilia.